Hey guys, welcome to your general reading for Virgo. Uh, this is going to be for your May 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements because this reading could be about anything. We're just going to see what comes up. Uh, we're going to take a look and see what your guides, your angels, and your ancestors want you to know. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, okay? So tell me about Virgo. Tell me about Virgo here. What does Virgo's guides, angels, and ancestors want Virgo to know for May 2023 for Virgo? What does Virgo's guides, angels, and ancestors want Vir Virgo to know for May 2023? We have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So that looks pretty good. Seems like you're overcoming like a stressful time, you know, uh, depression here. You know, you could be overcoming anxiety here, okay? Um, we have the Emperor here. Yeah, it seems like you're gaining some sort of control, some sort of control, perhaps your mental health here. You know, it could be that you're you seeking help or that you're staying on top of, you know, uh, you know, working on this here. So the Emperor, Aries energy here. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is, is that if you have regret, you know, if you're still holding on to disappointment, I feel like you're being asked to release it and not hold on to it anymore, okay? Because it's no longer serving you here, um, uh, 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 Virgo, okay? So it's important to let go of things that are no longer serving you so that you can make room for new things in your life. Because when you hold on to things, you know, it's quite difficult to make room for new things. And if you do, if and, it, and, and it, if, you, if, if new things do come into your life, you know, it, it will be, uh, you know, uh, you might have uh, trouble really, uh, you know, enjoying the experience of these new things coming in because you're still holding on to residual past stuff here. Okay, let's see what else we have here. With the Queen of Cups and the Page of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There could be someone here that's offering you an apology here. Yeah, someone here that could be offering you an apology. Now, these messages are so general. It could be an ex. It could be a sibling, a brother, sister, cousin, you know, uh, a parent, you know, a friend, a family member, whoever. Yeah, it seems like, you know, it seems like you're reclaiming your power here. You're moving on from something here. You know, it seems like you found like some sort of financial freedom here or found some sort of freedom. You're freeing yourself from, you know, mental stress, anxiety, depression here, you know. And, and like I said, I, some of here could have been actively working on it, you know, working with someone on this, you know, sort of like gaining the tools that uh, is needed to help you navigate through some, uh, through, you know, uh, you know, a, a mental instability that you've been going through here, okay? Tell me about the Four of Pentacles here. It could be that, you know, when it comes to, you know, perhaps this mental health thing that you've been going through, it could be that you, you might have, uh, you know, you might be finishing treatment here. Someone here could be finishing treatment reg reg in regard to that, okay? With a Strength card here, Leo Energy, Five of Cups, oh shoot, and the Fool card. Aries energy also could be Aquarius energy you know it could be that you are in the process of letting go of things that are no longer serving you here you know I feel like one of the things I'm feeling like you know through the experience that you have gone through here perhaps re regarding the the work that you've been doing you're you're, you're 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 gaining the courage to let go of things that are no longer serving you and just sort of like going with the flow enjoying life here enjoying new experiences you know so uh the queen of cups we have the hierophant here taurus energy tell me the page of wands here and the knight of wands here 
uh, this could be an indication, you know, maybe someone here is in hot pursuit of you. Whoever this is, maybe this person does have emotions towards you. Uh, perhaps this person is really passionate towards you. Um, but could be an indication that someone here is making some promises where, you know, if this person did do, do you wrong, they're not going to do it again. They're not going to do it again. The Hierophant here, Taurus energy. Um, yeah, you know, you could have been dealing with someone here that was un uh, emotionally unavailable for you, but it could be that this person is uh, singing the whole new tune, you know, playing a whole new different beat here, okay? So uh, what else does Virgos, guides, angels, and ancestors want Virgo to know? What else does Virgos, guides, angels, and ancestors want Vir Virgo to know for uh, May 2023 for Virgo? One more. does Virgo's guides, angels, and ancestors want Virgo to know for May 2022 for Virgo. So we have the Knight of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Hangman, Piscean Energy. We have the Seven of Cups here and the High Priestess. And we have the King of Wands here and the Knight of Pentacles. You're, you're definitely in this like very contemplative and this just in this very contemplative transitional time right now yeah you guys are really in your emotions here you guys are feeling a lot your intuition is on overdrive here you know i feel like you guys are picking up a lot of you know messages from your guides and your angels and your ancestors here you know i just feel like your intuition is really amped up you know one of the things i'm getting here is that virgo you really wised up here you're we, so I feel like through the experience that you've been through here, you have a lot of knowledge and wisdom. You know, one of the things I'm getting is that, you know, I feel like you're using your, uh, you know, setbacks as, a, you know, a tool to empower others here. You could be teaching others here uh, regarding your experience. Some of you guys could be writing books about your experiences here. Oops. We have the King of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, Hangman, Pisces, Pisces, Energy here. The Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups, the Hangman here, and the Three of Pentacles. Interesting. There, there could be new love that's coming in for you. Yeah, perhaps that's the Queen here, because I do feel like you're this masculine here. But with the Hangman here... Could be a situation that you're not in a rush you know you want to kind of like scope out the environment just and scope this person out kind of vet this person to make sure that this person does belong in your life but i do feel like this person is genuine and sincere about getting to know you you know their feelings towards you are genuine and sincere too the seven of cups here we have the ten of cups the high priestess in the wheel of fortune here wow the universe is about to send you your blessings here. There's going to be ample blessings here. And I feel like you might be feeling like, oh my God, this is coming. Yeah, this is coming. Whoever this is, you know, you know, I thought this was past energy here, but it's not. You know, it could be in the, experience, in the past, you might have experienced, you know, people playing you and stuff like that. And, you know, you've done a lot of self-work so that you don't attract this again. But I do feel like th this person that's coming in is someone here who is very loyal and emotionally available. The uh, King of Wands and the Two of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles here, and the Star card. You guys are really focused on your life's purpose here. Yeah, you guys are really focused on your life's purpose. It could be that you guys are re just really connected with yourself, just really connected with your spiritual practices, you know, with the divine. Uh, you know, I just feel like, you know, um, things are looking up. You know, I just feel like you're really hopeful and optimistic because you, you came out of kind of like a dark place here, Virgo. So, you know, I do feel like, you know, big blessings are coming in for you. You know, abundance is coming in for you, Virgo. So, Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.